Welcome back. The next topic of the Android attack circle is exported broadcast receive, which is also part of the inter-process communication within Android. So what is a broadcast receiver? A broadcast receiver is a component which can receive messages based on some events. So it can be system events, like if a device is booted, restarted for example, if you receive an SMS, if the battery is low, or you can also have a custom broadcast which is defined in your app. And the action which happens if you receive a broadcast can be handled via intents, can be different actions. And let's dive into the documentation. So if you go to the Android documentation, insecure broadcast receivers, improperly implemented broadcast receivers can allow an attacker to send a malicious intent to make the vulnerable application perform actions which are not intended by external callers. So this is not really something new with the Android exported is true flag in the manifest you can recognize an exported activity and that activity can also have a broadcast receiver but you might not be able to see this directly in the manifest so you need might to do some reverse engineering or look into the source code but we will do this in a bit and yeah how you can recognize it this is already an example how you can prevent it with exported false flag but sometimes the name might end in receiver so you know it could be a receiver and then there is an intent filter so this intent will be triggered by by this receiver and also this common weakness and enumeration page with a list of common vulnerabilities has some examples about this so in this case there is a shutdown action which is handled by a shutdown receiver and if this one is not exported or not explicitly exported is false then it might be used by another app so let's go to the exploitation part so exploitation can be done via another app or again to demonstrate this we can do it locally if we have access to a device via the activity manager and then am broadcast is the syntax to send a broadcast to an app and then you can specify the activity you can specify the package and the class name and with minus minus es you can also specify some additional data or parameter and then we have some exercises i'm going to demonstrate you how this works in the insecure shop app and if you want to try it on mobile hacking lab there is a nice lab iot connect so also try this out so let's go to an example so in OWASP there are different apps mentioned you can use to test those vulnerabilities. So one of them is the Insecure Shop. And this Insecure Shop has an Insecure Broadcast Receiver, registration of a broadcast enabling URL injection. So I already installed this Insecure Shop app, so you can download it from the link from OWASP and GitHub on a device. And without an account you cannot do anything in this app. But let's start with the Android Manifest. So again, open the packets in JEDEX and then we can search for exported is true. There are four results, one activity called about us activity, one results activity, one provider and one service. The names of the activities do not really expose anything. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the code. So the first one is com insecure shop about us activity. And if we look into this class, we already see that there is something happening with a custom receiver. So this might be a good indication that a broadcast receiver is used, custom receiver. And on create, this custom receiver with a custom intent is used. So com insecure shop custom intent. This one is important. Maybe we need to use this for the exploitation. But first, let's look into this custom receiver. So there is a class called com insecure shop custom receiver. And if we go to this code on receive, then it needs an intent. So the custom intent we saw, and it has an additional parameter string extras. And this parameter has a name web URL. So this means we can probably send a broadcast with the intent we just saw and with an additional parameter web URL. And we can also check the usage. So this custom receiver is used in the about us activity. So the first thing we can try is we can just launch this exported activity. So adb shell am start. So this works. And now the next step is we want to do something with the broadcast receiver. Shell am broadcast. So now we at least already bypassed the login screen, but now we want to send the broadcast by directly sending this action. We don't get any error, so that's a bit of a tricky part. And with minus minus ES, you can send additional data. If you go back to JEDEX, so we can send extras. And then there is a parameter called web URL. You can, of course, guess what this should mean, web URL. So maybe we can just send a URL like google.com. Try if something happens. And now, 
apparently this application is using a web view and directly goes to the URL we provide. So if a user has this app opened, or you can even launch it via this exported activity, you can trick a user into visiting a malicious URL, for example. So this was in short how you can use or abuse a broadcast receiver and hope to see you in the next video.